Uh, let's go to our next matchup. Ravens in the Bills. And we're going to watch. What are we watching here? Uh, we're watching the Bills first quarter field goal drives. Um, a little disappointing that the Bills only put up 17 points. A little disappointing. I get that the Ravens defense is good, but we still want to see a little bit more production here by the Bills offense. So we're going to watch these two field goal drives in the first quarter. Why did they stall? Why did they have to settle for field goals? Was it Josh Allen not being accurate, missing some throws? Was it just maybe the play calling? You know, third and one, they couldn't pick it up. Third and two, they couldn't pick it up on the run. Or was it Josh Allen? So let's take a look at this. And then we'll watch, you know, their actual touchdown drive and see what that's all about. All right, so let's queue up this play. We're going to start here at 1446. Is that, or, yeah, 446, right? Yeah, I was going to say 1446. I was like, dang, they uh, the Ravens only had a possession that went for like 15 seconds. All righty, so 444, 446 into this Bills-Ravens game. So let's get this queued up. All righty, here we go, 4-44. All righty, starting at great field position and a very nice punt return, starting on, I mean, the Ravens' 38-yard line. Um, so definitely disappointing that they had to settle for a field goal here. I mean, when you get prime field position, I mean, you can't be coughing it up. At least they got some points out of it, but we need to see the seven, especially in the playoffs. So let's kind of see what happens here. Why did they stall? Why did this offense stall? So first play, Josh Allen, bingo, bango, Stephon Diggs for 15 yards. They've been doing this all season. That's a huge drive starter here. Now it's even more concerning that this drive stalls. First play, 15 yards, picks up the first, starting on, you know, now down to the 22-yard line of the Ravens. Josh Allen uh, out of the pocket, trying to buy all the time, nothing open, and he just throws it away. Oh, a flag. What do they call? Roughing the passer? Oh, my goodness. So even better field position, and they still don't capitalize on a touchdown. Oh, this is not good. This is definitely not something I want to see. All right, let's see. Josh Allen in the red zone, not capitalizing on touchdowns. This is not good. Let's see what we get here. First and 10 on the 11-yard line of the Ravens. Play action pass. Gets tipped at the line of scrimmage. Just trying to go out to John Brown there on a nice little swing route. Incomplete. Second and 10 now. Here we go. Once again, a wide receiver screen to Devin Singletary, and it gets one yard. Very conservative here with the play calling. We saw week one, a lot of trickery. Week two here in the playoffs, a lot of dink and dunk. I mean, you got to push it downfield a little bit. I know you're in the red zone, so you don't have a lot of field to play with. But now we're looking at third and 10 from the 11 yard, or third and nine from the 10 yard line. Let's see what they draw up here. What Are they going to take the a shot at the end zone, or is it going to be another dink and dunker? Let's see. Third and nine, Josh Allen. Play action. Oh, man, and he tries to hit. Who is that? Davis over the middle of the field of the end zone, and it looked like it was a good pass, folks. I think he may have just dropped it. Let's see if we get another replay here. Hopefully we get a replay from the back of the end zone. We'll be able to see something real good from there. Oh, that's a beautiful ball by Josh Allen. Oh, man, it's just dropped. Oh, Josh Allen. All right, so we really don't have to worry. It was just a bad drop. Josh Allen, an absolutely beautiful dart in the red zone, in the end zone, and the accuracy was absolutely magnificent. Holy cow. All right, that makes me feel a lot better rewatching this. That was just, uh, I mean, you couldn't have thrown it any better than that, truly. Um, all right, so that is, uh, that's very good. That's very good. So they had to settle for uh, for three there because of the drop. So now let's watch this other field goal drive. Why did this one stall? Is it another drop? Is Josh Allen still looking good? Uh, so let's cue this drive up. Seven play, 38-yard 38 38 drive, um, resulting in a missed field goal. Not great. Saw a lot of missed field goals this game. What did the Ravens miss two? Bills missing one. 
Got to get the good kicking game, folks. Come on. So 32 seconds left in the first quarter. Let's queue up this next drive. Alrighty, here we go. Bills up, still 3-0. They're on, once again, great starting field position on their own 37-yard 37, 37 line. So here we go. Um, Josh Allen drops back to pass. Very, very clean pocket. He's going deep. Oh, no. Overthrows Stephon Diggs by a lot. Whoa. I think that's the first overthrow we've seen of Josh Allen all season. Woof. That's bad. That's bad. Unfortunately, I mean, Stephon Diggs had easily, what, like five yards of separation here? Easy five yards of separation there. Damn. Josh Allen, unfortunate there. That's not too concerning, though. I mean, we know Josh Allen's pretty pretty accurate. Um, that one just definitely got away from him, unfortunately. Um, and I think if, you know, he gets that ball back this week against uh, the Chiefs, he'll hit it. He'll hit it. Alrighty, here we go. Second and 10. Empty backfield for Josh Allen. Let's see what he does here. Escapes the pressure. Rolling out to the right. And there he goes. Who does he find this time? John Brown on the sideline for the first down. So, actually, this is real good by Josh Allen here. He just overthrew a deep ball. Didn't let it fluster him. Came back. Nothing open. Nothing open. Let me just take, uh, you know, the underneath route, the open route, and live with it. This is perfect. You're rolling out of the pocket. He could have made, the, made a, you know, a real unfortunate throw. You know, maybe, you know... Um, a makeup throw. Hey, I missed this one. I'm going to try and squeeze this one in here because I'm a little frustrated. Let me try and get it back. Something like that. And he just takes the check down. So, and it's not even really a check down. It's a really good throw that he made on the sideline tight for the first down. That was just absolutely perfect. That was great. So, so far, we're really seeing no flaws here by Josh Allen. Here we go. Next ball. And he's back to throwing absolutely beautiful balls, folks. Holy moly. This man can absolutely sling it, folks. This is a beautiful ball. Back to John Brown on the sideline. Nice little out route. And two feet down. Beautiful. They're going up tempo a little bit. Josh Allen's back. Going to sling it again. And this isn't a bad ball. You get a one-on-one -on -one matchup, back shoulder throw. It's just incomplete. Once again, no chance at it being pegged. No chance at it being batted for a potential, you know, tip up in the air. It's just either incomplete or the receiver makes a fantastic catch on the ball. This one falls incomplete. They'll live for another down. And that's why the Bills have been having so much success this season, especially in the playoffs, because Josh Allen is not turning the ball over. We just saw Drew Brees throw three interceptions and lose the game. Josh Allen's not doing that. Here we go. We get a nice little setup screen. It only goes for two yards. It looks like he slipped a little bit. Alrighty, so we get third and eight here. Is this why the drive stalls? They went for a screen that didn't get on anything. Now we get third and eight. Empty backfield for Josh Allen on the Ravens' 29-yard line. Let's see. I really want to see Josh Allen complete this pass, though. I don't want to see him go, you know, incomplete here on third and eight. That's why they have to settle for the field goal. So here he goes. Steps up into the pocket, and then he just takes off. Ooh, not the best decision here. Um, I, there's no way he's going to be able to pick up all eight yards on this run. This linebacker is right on him, forcing him out of bounds, and he just kind of voluntarily goes out of bounds. So not the best decision by Josh Allen. Um, if they went for, if they were going to go for it on fourth down and this was kind of, you know, the setup of Sean McDermott, Hey, you know, we got two plays. So take it, you know, third and eight, try to get it to, you know, fourth and two, fourth and three, something like that. But he just kind of takes off with it. If nothing was open, that's fine. But, uh, you know, not the best decision there to try and pick up the first down and, you know, you already in field goal position. So not the best decision making there, but that's only one play. Everything else has really been flawless. The ball, the placement, the accuracy, the throwing power, it's all been great. So don't think we have to worry about Josh Allen this week. He's looking real good.